Hey everybody, I am so, so happy to have you here again this week. Yes, it's me and we're going to talk about the news. This week, Martin Shkreli will be sentenced to seven years in prison and a $7 million fine, even though he accrued over $27 million, through having made a pharmaceutical drug that fights Lyme disease and HIV. He started selling the drug at $1, hyped it all the way up to $950, and basically put tons of people who don't have money anyways out of the field to be able to get their medicine. So the feds felt that what was the most illegal thing he was doing was not hiking the medicine up. There was nothing illegal about that, that he was having securities fraud. So that is the reason that he's having to pay money back, and that's the reason that he's going to prison for seven years. I think not prison. I think make him give the drug away for free maybe. Maybe hike the drug back down to $1, not sell it again for $950 like what will probably happen anyways. Lyme disease and HIV are life debilitating diseases. So it's important that Martin Shirley does not get put on blast or go to prison for something that really everyone else seems to be doing, stealing money, trying to get to another place. The point is that there's other people that are going to be sent to prison for child support. We have Stevie J with Clickbait right now. They have the man who did the Fire Music Festival last year. He's facing 40 years in prison. What is sending someone to prison to do other than make people rich and ruin lives? If any one of you have been inside of a prison, you know that one day is too long. And there are many of us that are in prison for things that we didn't even do. And then we are giving people time not to recreate our communities, not to help build what has been taken within the act of the crime, but only to keep people rich and to continue to destroy others. So I just want to say, Martin Shkreli, I think you should offer the drug for free and see how the feds take that. Aja Brown is the mayor of Compton and she's going to be running for Congress in the 44th District. That means that in LA she'll be running against Stacey Dash. Stacey Dash is a renowned actress for Clueless and now she's renowned for being on the side of Trump and very strong conservatives. I for one do not want Stacey Dash in any Congress in my country or in my state. Californians, I'm asking you to please come out and support Audra Brown, especially in a po political climate that we have right now where we are basically attacking people's families, we are attacking livelihoods. If we have four years and we have already seen that immigrants are being attacked, women are being attacked, homosexuals are being attacked, most people, our children are being attacked, our education is being attacked, it is important that we step into politics very, very strongly because we have allowed for people who do not care for us and who basically want to abuse us domestically, right? Domestically within our home, they want to abuse us. We have let them take control of our lives in an aspect. All that we have to do is get back out there and vote. So I'm going to continue to say this name to you, Aja Brown. Please vote for Mayor, mayor Aja Brown. She is already the mayor of Compton. And all you have to do is Google her and you can see the wonderful things that she has already done there. Please come and support this woman, this sister of yours, that is hopefully going to be able to resurrect some of the things that we need. A man outside of the White House last week shot himself with a gun. Go figure. The only way that you get to shoot yourself is with a gun. Let's think about the operative word, a gun. Also, in Yontville, an armed man went into a veteran's home, held everyone hostage for over three hours, and then killed three people. Three veterans who probably lived their lives around guns, know all, all these things about them yet, and somehow they weren't protected, or they themselves didn't have these guns that you guys are thinking about giving to the teachers, right? Because this is another way to protect ourselves, is to give each other more guns. The problem is the guns. I know that it's very, very hard for us to think about the fact that we might have to give up our guns, that our police force who kills tons of people every single year, that our military force that goes into other people's countries and kills tons of people every single year, they just need those guns, don't they? Because it seems to be making the world a better place. America, I really want you to understand that we can let go of the guns. Other countries have done it, and they have seen a brighter future. I, for one, do not want to be afraid for my life. This week, just have a good week. Go outside, be kind to yourself, be kind to other people. I'm talking about be blessed. Understand that if you're on the bus, you could be in a wheelchair. Understand that if you're in a wheelchair, you could be laying down. Understand that if you're laying down, well, you're probably breathing. And if you're not breathing, well, then you're dead and you're not watching this, so it's nothing to worry about. Try putting a smile on somebody else's face. You really gonna have a good week then. Then you might, you know, go put a fancy hat on, go outside and bounce, bounce, bounce it back, because I know how it feels to have a good week. I'm having a good 
good week right now. You just don't know. I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful. I'm so, so glad to be shooting this. And I hope to see you next week. But most of all, I just want you to have a good week.